Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furutech. It's been a long time. I am using the NothingOS 2.4.2 stable hotfix NothingOS version on my Nothing Phone 1. It was very good update with the good battery life and the new test of Android 14. But two days before Nothing started to roll out their NothingOS 2.4.3 OTA. After checking my device section, I got this new update notification. It's about 107 MB size update with the small but the major change dog. So I started to download this update. Today in this video, we'll compare about device details of this update with the old hotfix update. We will check out all the new changes done by the nothing with the performance comparison of this new update. Finally, at the last, we shown some bugs. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. Flashing of new update is completed. So let's compare the about phone details with the old build. Nothing was version here updated to 2.5.3. Build date of ROM is updated to the Space War U 2.5 dated 1st March 2023. Old build has the build date of 7 February 2024. Android version is same, it's Android 14 upside down cake. Security patch is updated to the February 2024, while old build was on the January security patches. It's a major upgrade of this update, except that everything is same like old build including the kernel version. Now let's move to the new changes done by the nothing in this new update. First one is the nothing added the new voice recorder widget. While adding the widget, we can able to add two different kinds of widget. One is just pure mic recording of the surrounding sound, which is not included with the phone system sound. While another widget recorder records the both the mic and the system audio of the device. To start or the stop the recording, we just need to tap on the widget, give all the permission to the widget it asks for the first time. In the notification panel, we get the notification of ongoing recording. By tapping on this, we can directly jump in the recorder app screen. Here we will get all the recorded recordings from the left three line menu. Next, nothing has done the improvement in the overall animation for the app's opening after tapping on the app widgets or the app icons. Similarly, they did the improvement in the animation while locking and unlocking the phone. Animations are much more fluid and optimized now. Next, nothing has did the improvement in the animation of clock widget on the always on display. They looks more realistic now. Except these small changes, other part of the change log is bug fixes. Let's check out them one by one. As per nothing, while adding the lock screen widget setting, there were some flickering has been reported by some users previously. Now it has been completely fixed. No issue of flickering has been reported. Next, in some scenarios, text message sending got failed in the previous builds. I tried to send multiple messages to check if this issue really got fixed or not. It's solved now. Actually, I personally did not face such issues in the previous build too. Similarly, some device specific bugs like flickering while Unlocking the phone on the always on display has been fixed now. So these are some minor changes and the bug fixes has been done by the nothing. Now let's move to our another part of the timeline that is the performance. Basically I really like the user interface and its fluidity of nothing OS as compared to any of stock OS I used till the date. In this update performance is nearly same like old build you will not feel any difference it's extremely fluid. If we test its performance in the numerical values using the Geekbench, I got the score of 909 and 2492 for the single and multi-core respectively. While for the GPU graphics performance, it was 2095 and 2458 respectively for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics. Overall, though the scores are lower, but I didn't believe in the performance scores, as my device with all the nothing was version is really performed outstanding. Next is very important part that is the bugs or the issues. These bugs I am showing are only related to the unlocked bootloader devices or the rooted devices. Here my device is just bootloader unlocked and it's showing the CTS profile check issue in this as snapchat application 
and the device play protect is also showing not certified it's a weird issue for all nothing was android 14 versions where both of these things are getting failed only on the unlocked bootloader except these issues no issues you will face this is a rock stable update for normal users that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe to channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for nothing phone one thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye